Baka chuku mbaka gini Osofu mi pay a wukwe ni chichi She looking very hot in my yellow Lamborghini She get the way Hey, baby carry the go for a bad man Hey YouTube, welcome to my channel. My name is Tanya Archer and I do natural hair videos. I've done this like 20 times and I still cannot get comfortable with an intro. Like it's just, let me just give you guys a little bit of background information about my hair, where it's at right now and where I'm trying to get it. So for the past few months, um, I'd say around September time, my hair has been doing the absolute most. It's been breaking, it's been shedding, it's been misbehaving, it hasn't been holding products, it's just, it's thinning, and it's just been looking kind of lifeless and see-through. Like I would do my fro and if there's light behind me, you can literally see through my fro to the light, which is super unusual for my hair because I have, well, I had really thick hair. So my plan is to wear my hair in protective styles for the next few months. So I'm trying to do it until March at least, just so my hair can breathe, can relax, and just get back to its original self. I can definitely say that my hair's been acting like this because I've been blow drying it a lot. Like, I blow dry it almost every day. I've been... Um, manipulating it doing like a whole bunch of styles on it so naturally my hair is gonna break with all of that being done to it anywho I've decided that it is time for my hair to get healthy and I'm gonna do that like I said with my protective styles okay I think I'm done talking for now thank you guys for listening and here is how I achieve this protective hairstyle using big chop hair clip-ins to start off, I soaked my clip-ins in some hot water just to loosen the texture so it's easier to work with. I then added some Shea Moisture's leave-in conditioner. To prepare my actual hair, I washed it with shampoo and conditioned it. I also added the same Shea Moisture's leave in conditioner and some castor oil. To begin the process of installing my clip-ins, I made a part down the middle and then a part exactly beside the middle part. On that second part is where I installed my first clip-in. I then proceeded to do this all over my head, adding clip-ins where I think it was necessary to make a full head of hair. After adding all the clip-ins, I realized that there's some spots that look a little empty, so I went ahead and added more. Okay, now it's time to twist. To create my twist, I grabbed a piece of hair under the clip-in, then I grabbed the clip-in, and then another piece of hair on top of the clip-in. Then using some Eco Styler Gel, I blended those three parts together. Split the hair in two and then began to twist all the way down.
I repeated this step through my entire head and I tried to make the twists as small as I could. While twisting, you'll notice some white residue from the leave-in conditioner, but once your hair dries, that disappears. After I was complete the twisting process, I just waited until my hair dried overnight. And as you can see, in the morning, all the white residue was gone. To add a little style, I grabbed a few strands on the left side and the right side of my head and brought it to the back with a bobby pin to secure it. I left out a few twists at the back and the side to make it look a bit more casual. That is how you achieve this look. And once again, if you'd like to know more about Big Chop here, just click the link in the description of my unboxing slash initial reaction and review because I have a review video too. Thank you guys so much for watching once again, and I will see you in my next video. Toodles!